All right, this is the house on Trowbridge. It has a lot of modern features. I don't have any lights on or just a couple inside right now. This is the front room. So this, it says four bedrooms. Let's see if there's really four bedrooms or they're counting this as a room. This is vinyl flooring in the living area. Let me see if I can get these lights on. Yeah, very open. It's a little, for me, it's a little short on square footage for the um, square, I mean, short on cabinets for the square footage, but you have um, a lot of space, wall space here, and you have a pantry. So that's a lot of space there. And then there's plenty of, uh, and there's power in the island. Recess lights here, it's probably all LEDs. And then you, this is the laundry, so you have space here. Nice big two-car garage. You can see there's concrete at the base. Probably pull down stairs in the attic, which is a nice feature. Power there on the side of the island. So we have this front room and a nice big living room with the trade ceiling and crown molding covered patio. This is the master that goes out to the covered patio. It's a great house. I just walked through it all and it looks like it's well built and the trade ceiling. This is tile. I'm guessing the bedrooms are going to probably be carpet. Look, they have a mini fridge in the master, which is awesome. And then you have all this nice storage. There'll probably be glass doors in the shower. The shower is squared off, but it is a little small, but it's it's all relative. And, and it's a nice big bathroom and you have the tub as well. So that's worth it. The um, This is the little water closet, but it's nice because there's room on the side. Sometimes they squeeze these toilets in where they're just like a crazy fit. A big walk-in closet. Very nice. All really modern storage everywhere. So, and this is from the master to go out back. Nice covered patio. You're in an area with some older homes because I just bought this lot. But the house is raised up. This goes into the living room. And this is your master. You got a nice fan and vinyl. And this, I believe, is hardy board. Hardy board is a concrete fiber siding that does not attract termites. Now, if it gets wet, it will crumble. Um, so if you hit it with a lawnmower, it can crack. Or you can have some, you know, so you can damage it, but it's really durable and termites won't eat it. Nice dimensional shingle roof. A lot of privacy because you're going down towards the water back here, but this is a little run down, but over here, but it's still a nice home. It looks nice in front. It's just older. You've got a sprinkler system with a water catcher there in the roof. I would probably get gutters, but you want to make sure they stay cleaned out or they can cause a bigger problem. Really big yard. And it's raised up. That's because we're close to the water, but that'll help your cost of insurance. Doesn't require flood insurance here. So it's probably gonna be only like 500 a year to have it because it's not required by FEMA. Gives you a nice view, let's see. Really pretty and peaceful, but it's in a really convenient location. I'd live out here. <laughs> so this is your master. And you have that front bedroom, or the front room where there's no closet, so that's technically an office. And then here, you've got a storage closet. Hallway. Another, oh, this is the half bath. This is the half bath for guests, which is really nice. We're gonna have a mirror here. It's just still underway. 
And this is the guest room. Lots of plugs. There's a smoke um, detector in every room. Nice fans. It's a good size room and you can just really see here how raised up you are. And the screens are out of the windows until they're done. They'll put that in at the end. I'm guessing the bedrooms will be carpet. And here's your AC. It's just a brand I've never heard of called Run True. So I don't know about that, but the builder should give you a year warranty. There's a power plug here in the hallway with room for a little table if you need it. And here's another guest room. It's kind of small, but it's adequate. Another bedroom. Again, with smoke detectors in every room, this is up to code. And the thing about buying new is that your insurance will be so low because it's all to code. And look at this. This is the guest bath. You also have another half bath for guests. Nice tile around the shower. And they put a thing called green board, which is um, a special sheetrock whenever it's you're going to have tile and um, or whenever it's around a tub. And you've got a linen closet here in the guest bath. So very nice. Oh, I see you're texting me. Oh, this has power. I'll call you right back. There's power in the floor. And this is it. So I'll get this video loaded quickly, but I'm gonna answer your message here.